You guys would honestly not believe how frustrating yesterday was, so I hopped on after being busy all day. I did like nine hours of Spanish homework, and then I was like, I'm going to play some Call of Duty. So I hop on Call of Duty, and I see a spy drop challenge, uh, win three matches in the mosh pit playlist or something like that. And all of a sudden, I decide, okay, I'm going to go ahead and play the Havoc DLC mosh pit, since, I mean, that's technically mosh pit, right? I played three games of that, and I won all three of them. And then... It turns out that that didn't count. I wasn't even paying attention. That didn't count at all, apparently. Apparently, you have to play on, like, the regular Mosh Pit playlist. And it was kind of just a waste of time. So, I had to play, like, six games in total. I think three of them turned out to be pretty decent gameplays. And this gameplay is, like, it's like a 55 and 6. Um, I'm actually using kill streaks for once. I decided that I would go ahead and try them out. I usually don't use lethal kill streaks because I prefer to get all of my kills by gun. But they really didn't help me out that much in this game. I think my bombing round got a total of, like, maybe six kills or something like that. Anyways, Valentine's Day is right around the corner. It is exactly one week from now, and yes, unfortunately, I do have to work on Valentine's Day. I know that that breaks all of you guys' hearts, because you guys obviously care about that. <laughs> Just kidding, but seriously, I do have to work on Valentine's Day. That's going to suck for me. Uh, I get off pretty early, and I start pretty early, so it's not the end of the world. But the point of me bringing that up is Advanced Warfare has decided to kind of make Valentine's Day a little bit of a fun thing. Now, I don't know if they're doing anything specific for just Valentine's Day, but I noticed today when I got my supply drop, and in this video you guys will see, just like Christmas, but the Valentine's Day supply drops are like a special heart, and it, it shocked me at first, I was like, yo, what did they just do? It looks so different now, but then I realized Valentine's Day is right around the corner, and Advanced Warfare decided that they would go ahead and throw in some heart supply drop. See, right there, right there, that's, that's what I'm talking about. You have received a supply drop, and it's like a little tiny present box with a heart in it. I mean, because that's exactly what we need, right? We need to realize that we're total losers that are playing Advanced Warfare on Valentine's Day and are still single. I mean, at least that's, that's what I am. Nah, but all jokes aside, that actually is kind of cool that Sledgehammer Games did that. It seems like they kind of add a supply drop for any holiday. Um, there's been Christmas and Valentine's Day, and Valentine's Day wasn't even that big of a holiday, so I'm surprised that they put up a supply drop for it. I'm really curious to see what they're doing for other stuff, like on the 4th of July or on Easter. Um, hopefully they'll actually have, like, on the actual holiday, maybe we can get, like, a better chance of getting elite guns in our supply drop. I don't know, something cool like that. Just a quick little side note, while you guys are watching this gameplay, there are some points where my shot is completely off and I take forever to kill someone, or, like, I barely kill them with the amount of bullets I have in my gun. Now, that's because I, I don't even really play Advanced Warfare that much. Usually when I get on, it's to, you know, get my supply drop challenge done for the day, and that's about it. Um, it's not that I don't enjoy the game anymore, this is an awesome game. But I have just been super crazy busy with everything lately. But my last day of work, uh, actually the last day she scheduled with me was, uh, let's see, it is the 15th, so in about a week and one day, I will no longer be working at Subway and I will have a ton more time to, you know, just play Call of Duty now. So hopefully that will work out good for me. Hopefully I can go ahead and, you know, get some more gameplays, uh, provide better content for you guys, do better in school, all that good stuff. You know, I thought that this gameplay might actually be like one of my DNA bomb streaks, but I ended up dying just a little bit before a 20 kill streak, and it was the most frustrating thing ever. Like, I was playing the hard point, and I was killing everyone around the hard point, and I finished, like, I killed all the people around it, and then I called my bombing run, and I just waited in the building for a second so my bombing run wouldn't kill me since I was on such a high kill streak. And then I go to run out of the building, and there's this kid still in it from the previous hard point. So, like, after the hard point left the building, he stayed in it for like a good 30, 45 seconds and killed me. One of the most frustrating things in the entire game. I'm not quite sure what he was doing, but he definitely managed to kill me and catch me off guard with that. I know, you guys can pretty much just hear the tears that I am holding back right now. Such a tragic event in my life. I have honestly had the worst luck lately. So I've been able to streak just fine, and I've been getting like some crazy good streaks, and I've been going on like 20, 25 kill streaks. But I have gone to a 20 kill streak at least probably six or seven times over the past couple days. Once I passed 20, I just start to think, oh, DNA bomb, possible DNA bomb, DNA bomb. And I just, I choke so hard. I told you guys, I am like the master at choking, and I, I know that sounds pretty gay, but uh, I assure you that I, I refer to Call of Duty when I say that. But yeah, don't expect a DNA bomb from me anytime soon, but what you can expect is a bunch of gameplays of me getting to about a 25 kill streak and then raging because I didn't get the DNA bomb, so I still have to upload that one of me being one off and then completely screwing it up and dying. Uh, I am actually very good at destroying my chances of getting a DNA bomb. It would not surprise me if I went on about 15, 29 kill streaks before I actually ended up getting the DNA bomb, but <laughs> hopefully I can actually get it one day for the, my channel. I have gotten a couple in the past, but of course they were when I was not recording. I think my highest kill streak is like a 33 right after I get the DNA bomb. I always manage to die. Uh, this game, this game's crazy. Like you, 
think it it's a pretty fun game and all, but it's really hard to streak because kids are just flying across the map and it's so fast paced and there's all these exo abilities that can screw you over, like someone might use cloak and they might throw you off guard with that, or they might have stim on and mow you down since they have extra health like a superhuman. Just way too many variables that you can't really account for, but it definitely makes getting DNA bombs a lot more interesting to watch because it, it truly does take skill, but I mean, that depends. It depends on the kids you're playing. Like, it's just the fact that you most likely, I mean, I'm not saying that nobody, but I would say that like 99.9% .9 of players, there's no way that you could get a DNA bomb against kids that were like super good with like 1.5 or 2 KDs, or that's not super good, but just decent enough to know what they're actually doing with the game and they could kill you if they aimed at you. And I mean, if you're just playing kids with like a 0.5 KD that really don't even know how to shoot their gun, then yeah, a DNA bomb is realistic, but it kind of, it really just depends on the enemies you're playing. You have to kind of factor that into it, plus your skill level, so it's not just how good you are as a player in general. I've actually had a lot of you guys tweeting me on Twitter asking if I had any tips for Call of Duty if I had any like advice that I could give you and what I can say right now is I did make a video I think all the way back it might have actually been towards the end of December and it was one of my first few videos so it's a little bit like it's a little bit not as good as these videos I would have to say but it does give you some solid advice on how to become a better player uh, I think that's actually what it's called how to become a better player and you will definitely be able to tell by the title and the thumbnail that it's the video that I'm talking about so if you have not yet, go ahead and check that out. Hopefully those tips help you out, but I do need to remake a similar video and give you guys some more tips, so keep an eye out for that in the future. I'll go ahead and have to like give you guys more tips, just tell you how to become a better player in general, and hopefully that'll go ahead and benefit a lot of you guys out there that are asking me all these questions about it. You guys have all been amazing subscribers, though. Like I say in almost every video, I cannot thank you guys enough. Right now we're at about 9,550 Twitter followers and that is almost 500 more than I had yesterday so I'm hoping sometime tomorrow I can reach 10,000 followers on Twitter. That's absolutely crazy. You guys are awesome subscribers. I will say that a million times because I mean it a million times. Um, whenever you guys tweet me on Twitter or whenever you message me or you know whenever you comment on my videos, I do look at it. I do make sure to reply to you guys so I'm not one of those YouTubers that doesn't care about their fans and never replies. I truly do care about you guys. I'll reply to anything you ask me. And like I said, if you just if you have any questions, anything you want to ask me, please do comment down in the comment section below or ask me on Twitter, something as simple as that. And that is pretty much it for today's gameplay. Um, 55 and 5 actually I believe, not 55 and 6. But either way, it was a great gameplay and I'll see you guys all tomorrow.